Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Varun Malhotra. I work as senior consultant in cataract, cornea and refractive surgeries at Center for Sight Eye Hospital in Banjara Hills, Hyderabad. Keratoconus is made up of two words, kerato and conus. Kerato is the, is the Latin word for, for cornea and conus means that the shape of the cornea becomes like a cone. So just to show you here, this is how a normal cornea looks like. In medical terms, this is called as prolate in shape. And in keratoconus, this shape becomes like a cone. Keratoconus generally starts at the age of 17 and stabilizes by itself by the age of 27. So it is a disease which is starts in early adolescence and is found till the late 20s. The major symptoms which you will face in keratoconus is blurriness of vision, frequent change in the spectacle or the glass powers for which you, you should immediately visit a cornea specialist. The most common treatment suggested for a case of keratoconus is something called a C3R or collagen cross-linking. Now I would like to tell you more about collagen cross-linking. What we do in this treatment is that we basically uh, put a riboflavin dye on the cornea. This dye generally seeps through into the corneal tissue and then we treat the cornea with ultraviolet air uh, radiations of wavelength 370 nanometers. What it does is that it forms very strong covalent bonds among the various layers of the cornea. Now this makes the cornea much more stronger it also causes flattening of the cornea over a period of three months and thereby makes the cornea more stronger and stable so that the shape does not change again. The newer treatment along with collagen cross-linking now is known as topography guided C3R wherein we first use an excimer laser to reshape this steep cornea so that the shape of the cornea becomes more regular the power which the eye has developed comes down slightly by flattening the cornea and then we do the collagen cross-linking to make the cornea stronger. So the outcome of a topo-guided collagen cross-linking treatment is two. Number one, the power of the eye comes down and number two, the vision of the eye increases, the quality of vision becomes better and the these patients generally retain this quality of vision for the rest of their life. What we advise to a certain subset of patients is something called as INTAX. INTAX stands for intracorneal ring segments. Now, first of all, we do the corneal topography to see what is the exact shape of the cornea and where is the irregularity, in which meridian is the irregularity or in which axis is the irregularity. Depending on this, the clinician generally decides whether to put one ring segment or two ring segments. They have to be placed symmetrically or asymmetrically. The whole aim of this treatment is to flatten the cornea considerably so that the cornea reaches its prolate shape as much as possible. Now this helps to reduce the power of the cornea. Another treatment which has been introduced now is called as CARES wherein we do not use these rings but we use another corneal tissue from a donor to flatten the cornea. Both these procedures are called as tissue additive surgical procedures for keratoconus and there is a subset of patients which greatly benefit from them. Follow Planet LASIK and post your queries to get answers from the experts.